The minimum roster size rule is one that is in place and enforced solely to protect the players. Tantasco Pop Warner also states that two additional players sustained injuries in the second half. Again, it was determined by Mr. and Mrs. Iller that these players should not continue to play in the game. With the removal of these two players, the active entirety of the Tantasco Pee Wee football team stood at 11 players, with the remaining six players on the sideline. Tantasco finished the game with just 11 active players, not the 16 mandated by Pop Warner. It should also be noted that although 16 is the minimum acceptable number of active rostered players a team may field, the recommendation for Pop Warner is that teams maintain 20 to 25 players at all times. As indicated earlier, Southbridge Pop Warner was not notified that the Tantasco Pop Warner Pee Wee team had less than the minimum number of players allowed or that there were injured players on the sideline. We did not receive this information from the officials, the EMTs, or the Tantasco coaching staff. We feel this is important because of the fact that there were so many opportunities to do so. Multiple opportunities to walk across the field and end the game, or at the very least, advise us as to the severity of the issue. This was never done. Finally, as it relates to what and how well we teach our kids, we have the utmost confidence in staff and faith in our Pee Wee coaches. This staff has nearly 80 years of combined coaching experience at every level of youth football. They have playing experience from Pop Warner through college, and they are a diverse staff that hails not only from Southbridge, but Sturbridge and Charlton as well. And lastly, but perhaps most importantly, they are a staff that teaches their players to do it the right way, every day, all day, without exception. In closing, as we've said before, one concussion is certainly one too many, and this is indeed an unfortunate situation for everyone involved. We wish emotions would have been set aside before entering our stadium to allow for the communication necessary to create a competitive yet safe playing environment for our children. The young men and women who wear the red and white of Southbridge Pop Warner take great pride in themselves, their coaches, their teams, and their community. This pride is reflected in their work ethic, their honor, and their ability to look past many of the unique challenges that face them every day. There are so many wonderful stories in this town, among these kids, about these kids, and for these kids. Stories that often get lost in the socioeconomic complexities when looking from the outside in. As we mentioned at the hearing, if you just took the time to sit down and talk to these 10, 11, and 12-year-old 12 little, 12 little boys, you'd see what we see. Good kids with good hearts who need pop water in their lives for many reasons. We're proud of our boys, and we stand behind them. Thank you. Just say that just one minute. Talk about anything. There's still a couple of setup shots.